part one of this video, we introduce the remarkable power of ChangePoint's resource management worksheet. With unmatched visibility and control, balancing demand across your organization's resource pool can be made simple. In part two of the resource management worksheet demonstration, we are going to dive deeper into application functionality and demonstrate how resource managers can use the RMW to work in collaboration with other organizational leaders, most notably project managers. Looking at the current view, as a resource manager for the U.S. Services Workgroup, we can determine that there are some resource imbalances. John Dawson, for example, is over-allocated on his financial implementation project for Friday. To help balance John's workload, likely assigned to him by a project manager, we can use the View drop-down to select a pre-configured view to provide us with more information about John and other resources in our organization. In this case, we require a view that shows us the job titles of our resources, and with that in mind, we proceed by selecting the Organization by Resource Job Title view. We can now see that John is a senior developer. The new view has provided us with a column displaying the job title of our resources, listed against tasks in their work stream. To build a configurable view based on the criteria you require, the Manage Views section allows users to create their own views as required. To reassign the necessary amount of John's financial implementation project to the correct resource, we are now aware that they must also carry a senior developer title. To narrow the field of resources that are capable of absorbing John's work, we can use the Filter tab to reduce our list of resources by job title, and in this case by work group. We can select the U.S. Services and Senior Developer filter which, once selected, will alter our current view to only show us senior developers within the U.S. Services Workgroup. Similar to creating a new view, filters can be built and configured to meet your needs by referencing the Manage Filters button and selecting the data relevant to your desired filter. Returning to the drop-down menu, we can apply the desired filter and start the process of reassigning John's demand. Based on our current view, we can see that Sandy Keaton is also a senior developer and is underutilized on Friday. Based on her availability, listed at 4.84 hours, it is possible to shift John's execute work package task to her. By dragging and dropping John's task to Sandy, both of their work streams are updated to reflect the reassignment. We have also been able to successfully improve their utilization for the day, as John was over-allocated and Sandy was under-allocated. At this point, we can go ahead and save our changes. Or, we can take some time to consider how these reassignments may affect the project manager responsible for John's financial implementation project. It may make sense to allow the project manager to have a chance to validate our changes prior to making them permanent. To achieve this, we can use the Manage Scenarios button and create a new scenario that can be saved and shared with the relevant project manager. We can go ahead and title this scenario Validation and select Project Manager from the Role drop-down menu. Once saved and applied, our reassignments have not been made permanent, but are now uniquely available to the project manager that we have selected for further edits or validation. The screen you have in front of you right now would be exactly what the project manager would have a chance to see. By using the scenario functionality available in ChangePoint's resource management worksheet, organizations can foster collaboration between project managers and resource managers avoiding costly missteps in project assignments and inefficiencies brought on by a lack of cross-departmental visibility. The scenario function can also be used to share resource management data with any number of people across the organization.